Hello and thanks for joining. Today's topic is going to be a math tip on how to find the area and perimeter of a rectangle and a square. I wanted to quickly point out that all of these tutorials will be posted on my website which is www.10minutetrain.com and then here's some other links that you might find helpful like the YouTube channel which is youtube.com forward slash 10 minute train. So I'm going to jump right in here and first I want to point out uh, the rectangles, uh, the area is going to be equal to the width times the height. Okay, and the perimeter is equal to 2 times side A plus 2 times side B, or you can just add the sides up um, like this side A plus side A and side B and side B. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through a demo and show you how to find uh, a missing component. So they might give you the area and the length of side B, but you need to find the length of side A. So we're going to walk through that and, and it's a quick demonstration right here. And then also we're going to do the squares. And so the area of a square is going to be the length of a side squared. So side times side. And then the perimeter is going to be equal to um, a side value, the side value times four. And since they're all the same, um, that's how you that come that formula works like that. And then, or, or of course, you can just add all four sides together. Okay, so I'm going to jump right in here. And the first thing I'm going to do is do this rectangle here. So what I've done here is I have a rectangle here. And I've got the formula, which is area equals width times height. And I'm given the values here of 10 centimeters and 5 centimeters. So in this case, um, we want to find the area, which is, you know, this section inside here and this is a 2D object. So I'm going to do area is equal to width times height so that's going to be 10 centimeters times 5 centimeters. So what's 10 times 5? That's 50. And then what's centimeter times centimeter? Centimeter squared. So the area is equal to 50 centimeters squared. Now what if you were only given one of these values or you were given two of the values but not the not the width and the and the height. So let's go in here and this time we're going to go ahead and change it and we're going to assume that we don't know this value but we've been given the area and the area is equal to 50 let's say say it's the same thing. Okay, so now over here, let me erase this, and I will go ahead and, now we know the formula, but now we don't know the width and the height, so what we're going to do, so what do we know? We know the area is 50, and we know the width, we don't know the width, so I'm going to do W times the height is 5. So now all I need to do is solve for W. So what I do now is I do 50, I get rid of the 5 over here by dividing it in to this side is equal to W. So 5 into 50 is 10 is equal to width. So now my width is actually, and now we need to make sure we notate it, so now it's going to be, the width is going to be 10 centimeters, okay? And then 10 centimeters times 5 centimeters is going to be the 50 centimeters squared. The perimeter is going to be, in this case, we know this is 10. So the perimeter is going to be 10 times 2 is 20 plus 5 times 2 is 10. So the perimeter is going to be 30, right? Or you could just add them together. 10 plus 5 is 15 plus 10 is 25 plus 5 is 30. Okay, The area of a square, in this case the value is 5 here of a side and the side here is equal to 5 so this is going to be 5, 5 here, 5 here, and 5 there. So the area is going to be a side squared. So we're going to do 5 squared which is equal to 5 times 5 or 25. And of course, if that's centimeters, that would be 25 centimeters squared. Okay, I didn't notate it, so I'm just going to leave it off for now. 
all right and then the perimeter is going to be equal to side times 4 so your perimeter is going to be equal to side times 4 which is equal to 5 times 4 which is equal to 20 okay that's what I want to share with you thanks for joining take care